Chris Colbert versus Oshaki Foster must be next. <laughs> Let me explain to you why. Push the weight in the flex, flex. The lab is one in the six. Hey. If it's the runner boy, you need no question. Yo. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Yo. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey. Motherfucker never learned your lesson. Right. Hey. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I mean, they walk and drink blood, fangs out. Full moon, motherfucker. Change like a hoe, nigga. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. So, Chris Colbert did his thing and he beat King Tug. Great job, young man. Um, here's why I'm doing this video and here's why I feel the next fight should be Oshaki Foster. I do a video in reference to the young man losing, uh, he missed weight, 0.2 pounds. It wasn't much, but since he's not into um, excuses, let's just keep it like that. There are no excuses. You missed weight, no excuse for that. You have to be a professional. So in my past video, I said, you know, look, you know, you're professional, you know, should be no excuses. I expect you to go in there and beat King Tug and be the best culprit you can be. But this missing weight thing, is that a red flag? You know, um, basically I was wondering, you know, is this it for you for 130? If you're having a problem making 130, don't stick around there because you're gonna hurt yourself in the long run. That's basically what I was saying. Not exactly in those words, but that's basically what I was insinuating. So I said, maybe you should go to 135 or whatever. And I may mention it that in the video. It was only like a day ago. So I'm in my comment section. And look who pops up. Oshaki Foster. He says, Drew, don't push Colbert to 135 just yet. I'm going to beat him down. Take that O and send him off to 135. <laughs> and I loved it. <laughs> I also said, if you go look at it, I also said, I got 50 push-ups that he ducks you. Yeah, that's that's me instigating. <laughs> hey, man. It's all about pushing for the best to fight the best, right? Ashaki Foster says, at Drew Titan, Colbert definitely got the people fooled. He ain't trying to fight me like I'm pushing to fight him. At Drew Titan, I'm really with the ish. This is what I do. And you know what, Young King? I believe every word you say. So, this is what I'm talking about. These guys are two Young Kings. Oshaki's definitely hungry. Colbert seems to be hungry. Shout out to Zab Judah. I saw him there in the audience. Big shout out to Zab. Much love and respect for Zab. So, in my opinion, we got to fight. So, ladies and gentlemen, you clearly see Oshaki Foster calling for the smoke. It's in writing. I like to fight. Do you guys like to fight? I like to fight. Let's see. Do I have time to pull up the box rec? Let me see. Shaki Foster. Of course, as soon as I pull it up, it says Shaki Foster's gloves. Okay. Oshaki's 18 with 11 KOs, two losses. Split decision losses, and he lost in UD. Okay. So, you know, he ain't afraid to let an L go because he's still in the mix. Okay. So now, let's look up uh, Mr. Cre All right, he's 18. That is something I'm noticing here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, he got five knockouts on record. The rest of them are TKOs out of that 11. 
You know how I got to dissect box rap. Okay, now let's go to Chris. Cold. I'm looking up the box rec in real time, ladies and gentlemen. 16 knockouts. He's no losses, no draws. 16 wins, six knockouts. One. Uh oh. One official knockout. The rest are TKOs, stoppages. So you got to be real careful with, with box rec. It'll say six KOs. They'll be like TKOs. You don't know if they, you know, they stop like premature stoppages. You never know. But he has one that I see, one official KO with someone they beat the count, and that's it. So Shockey, you know, based off of what we're seeing, he has more, he has more props than him. I like this fight. They're around the same age. Like I said, they're both young and hungry. And Oshaki's calling for that smoke, man. I mean, I can go see it if it's at the Barclays, if it's at the theater. What is it, the Hulu Theater at MSG, right next door? I drive to Jersey to see it. I drive to Philadelphia to see it. Wherever they want to have it, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see it. But one thing is for sure, Oshaki's calling for that smoke. He's calling for that smoke. So, um, I want to know what y'all think. I mean, look, man. I was minding my own business doing the video about the, about the young man missing weight. Basically, hold your head. And, uh, you know, live what you talk. No excuses, right? And Oshaki jumped right in here and was like, nope. Y'all reading it yourself. Holy crap. I was not expecting this. So, but you know what, though? This is what we need. This is what the sport needs. Someone in your division calls for the smoke. You got to be the smoke detector. All right? Where there's smoke, there's fire. Y'all remember Teddy Alice when he was talking to uh, Tim Bradley? We're firemen. We're firemen. We put out the fires. We're firemen. Yo, man. I think we should push this fight, man. Somebody hit up Chris Colbert and be like, yo, man, Oshaki's talking really reckless about you. What you finna do? What you finna do, man? I mean, I'm sure there was a lot more eyes on your event tonight than they were originally going to be, being that you made news with what you was talking. So... In the limelight now, Shaki Force is calling for that smoke. Now, you was a little bit overweight. If it's a problem for you making 130, I mean, you could try and go to 135, but there's killers up there too. You know? Shaki's calling for the smoke. I don't know, man. Is it high risk, low reward? They mentioned Tank. They said Tank can still make 135. They were already, they already had you up at 135, what I was listening to. They already had you up there. So, I mean, look. Up there, it's 135, there's drama. 130. Nice win against King Tug, who just came up from 126. Wasn't easy work. I heard you say that he could punch. You were the better man tonight. Congratulations to you. You did your thing. But Oshaki Foster is calling for the smoke. I like that fight, man. I only want to see the best fight the best. Let's get it, man. I'm calling for it. Maybe around October, November, Oshaki Foster versus Chris Colbert. Hopefully, y'all could do it in New York. I would greatly appreciate it. Or Philly. I'd go to Philly for it. Wherever. I really, really would appreciate that, you guys. I really, really would, man. I mean, really think about it, man. Shockey Foster versus Chris Colbert. And I'm only saying Philly or Jersey, New York, because I can get there. You know what I'm saying? I can get there. Well, Shockey, you make me get on a plane to go to Texas. 
Hey, man, if I got time, I'll do it. I'll go do it, man. But let's get these fights going, man. Great job by Colbert tonight. Nice win. No excuses. Oshaki called for the smoke, man. You got to do something, baby. Ross on deck. Move!